in the past I have based my wrapping around presents I've seen in Harry Potter. Now, okay, I know it's a bit crazy, but uh, hey, you're watching my videos, so you're obviously kind of into the same kind of things, and I'm going to help you do the same thing. If you'd like to, of course, base your presents around presents in the Harry Potter world, you'll know, but the people you give your gifts to won't know, but it'll just look pretty, but you'll get to like think inside like... <laughs> Okay, so let's do the first ones that I've seen, and this is the first one that I based um, my presents on, was the ones where Molly Weasley gave presents to Fred and George um, in, I think it was the fifth one, for the Harry Potter, yes, and um, the first one that they do is actually with, it's a tissue paper, and you can do it with orange tissue paper um, with a maroon bow. And it just looks really pretty. This is the one she gave to either Fred or George. Uh, the second one she gave was actually uh, the actually at the same time, but it was a blue um, tissue paper um, with purple ribbon this time. But if you put them two together, they do look really pretty together, don't they? So that's that's some of the wrapping that you can do uh, that way with that. If you also want to do another one, if you've had the pleasure of going to the Warner Brothers Studio making of Harry Potter you'll have noticed that there are hundreds and hundreds of gifts and decorations um, there and they mainly all gold so that's what I based another another year came where I was thinking I'm gonna do it again because I'm a bit yeah okay, anyway and um, he did it all gold and it's really simple to do this obviously it's just gold wrap paper and gold ribbon now obviously it takes time to wrap presents really pretty but if you can do it like in all gold and you have all gold presents it does look really pretty so this year I'm thinking, what am I going to write my presents in? I've kind of exhausted my options of presents in Harry Potter. Okay, there's a few other things, but not really like ones you can really base a lot of the things on. So I thought I'd go one step further. And again, with the studio tour, um, now <laughs> I'll tell you how the saga that this went into, but um, let's just focus um, for that. If you haven't already spotted in the backwards, I made a little bird that you can see in all of the Harry Potter films in the Great Hall. Um, with the bird with the uh, like ribbon. And yes, so that was amazing. I was going to make four for so each of the houses, but of course I made the one house um, first off, which was half above because that's my house. Um, so I spray painted the gold, um, well, the wing, it, it's all gold, but I spray painted the wings um, like a different kind of gold to represent the half above house. Now, I was going to make another three to symbolize other houses because if you see closely in the film or if you ever go to the tour, um, they each have different coloured wings, obviously red for Gryffindor, green for Slytherin, and then blue for Ravenclaw. And I was like, I'm not going to have time because I started this in like late November. <laughs> I was wondering to get this up. I was before Christmas, but it was taking so long. Um, so I managed to just do the one. I started on my second one and then the resin started leaking everywhere. I didn't think I sealed the moulds properly and then it started hardening and I was like, oh god, it was such a nightmare. So I think if I do do this again, <laughs> which I will. I'm going to make four and they're going to be all pretty because it's my own decorations that I made. Uh, I think I'm pretty much up to start next summer because it took me forever to do but I've got the originals now. I can make a mould again with it so I'm going to do it properly but I was starting to run out of time and I really wanted to get it out for Christmas. Um, so there we are. I've got one bird <laughs> from Harry Potter. My Hogwarts decoration. Um, I did also find these stars um, which I also spray painted, I don't know if you can see them dotted throughout, as much as you can see the tree, um, because in in the tree in Hogwarts there's stars, there's these birds, and they also have these kind of ones with like moons. But again, I couldn't find moons and I was running out of time, so I was like, okay look, let's do two stars and one bird, let's fill it up with red because I was doing red and gold this year, and this obviously fits in really well because it's a half puff and gold, and it fits in nicely. So, that's my Christmas. <laughs> And I thought I'd just give you some ideas of like, you know, if you wanted to wrap your presents like Harry Potter as well, because I've been living very Harry Potterly, and this is my philosophy for the new year. I'm going to try and make a little bit more videos um, with Harry Potter based content. This is a happy Christmas from me, living a Harry Potter life. <laughs> really, actually, let's say more of a Wizarding World life. Let's say that, yeah, Wizarding World life. I think that's probably better because that kind of covers both. So for me, it's a happy Christmas. For my wonderful Christmas tree, it's a happy Christmas. And to a wonderful new year filled with positivity, lots of fun, and regular Wizarding World videos for myself. That's it. <laughs>